Hello, we're Harriet, Carly and Sarah, and we're three of five people of the 49 studio. So when we began thinking about the notion of home and how it influenced our work, it was impossible to ignore that although we are a collective, we each have our own stories and experience, our own sense of home that we bring to the group. These personal stories have a strong impact on our work together and bring with them a broad range of experiences. For me, as I grew up, my interests strongly included the world around me, and in particular, the natural environment. I was always walking through, camping in, and exploring different and isolated places in Australia. These experiences strongly informed my practice. These stories incorporating and experiencing the natural environment are something that everyone at the 49 Studio share. As the 49 Studio, we are five individual designers that come together in the name of collaboration, and we like to think of ourselves as a bit of a bowl of nuts, different in many ways, but we are the same family. We each feel very much at home with one or two primary design disciplines, so when we come together, we make a multidisciplinary studio in the strongest sense of the word. While our design skill sets are diverse, we have a very like-minded approach to the design process. We each feel most at home in a work environment where there is an endless limit of possibility. When we approach a new design problem, we like to do it with a clean slate, a blank sheet of paper, a clean drawing board, or if you will, a new block of clay. From here, we work through a multitude of possibilities, including all of our skill sets. These include skills in ceramic, object, graphic, and textile, jewelry, and concept design, to name a few. Together, we explore form, function, materiality, and aesthetic, and ultimately aim to never have the restrictions of a single person's skill set, but rather the multitude of possibilities offered by the thinking caps and skills of five people rather than one. This approach means we can enjoy a lot of exploration, play, and sharing of ideas in our design process. This, for us, is in many ways the most enjoyable part of the job, finding the unusual, the eye-catching, and the inspiring solution to the problem, not the obvious one. Home for us, as a group, is this shared space of endless possibility. These endless possibilities are further explored through working, working collaborations with external creatives. This is a range of ceramic tableware that we developed with Jardin Australia, working our idea of home into theirs. We reworked an existing studio range to create large-scale statement pieces that fit with their values. We also have worked with the other hemisphere, collaborating closely with Sarah King um, to combine our aesthetic and values. This espresso cup ties in with our idea of a small, intimate, handmade object and the other hemisphere's idea of a very pared back and simplified form as a piece in the home. Sometimes we allow other people's ideas of home to influence and inform our design process. For example, in our collaboration with East and Weft, our idea of home is something that travels with you. East and Weft is a weaving house based in Laos and is founded by Simone Sanexe, who came to Australia as a refugee. Her work is driven by her environment. Locally available plant materials are used for dyeing natural fibres, including silk, cotton and hemp. She takes a holistic approach to everything she does, growing the raw materials from scratch or collecting what materials are available to her and using everything so nothing is wasted. This notion of zero waste and using local materials are some of the many values we share and that equally drive our own practice. In our work together, we are exploring the multicultural nature of Australian design, drawing from our diverse cultural backgrounds to reflect on where we've come from and where we're going. Taking traditional hill tribe patterns and textile techniques, we've developed a series of products that are playful, beautiful, and above all, are designed to be taken with you. Our collaboration is about exploring how we can best be at home together. In looking back over our work as a studio through the lens of the topic home, it was interesting to find such a strong grounding in this idea from our very first project together. This was an exhibition entitled Reform, which explored the value and worth of objects in the home. From council cleanups, we collected the discarded furniture in, from people's homes, things they saw as damaged, completely broken, or no longer in fashion. We created ourselves a temporary home in Ben's garage, as you can see, where we then repaired, reconditioned, or completely reconfigured the pieces of furniture or the materials they offered, and then exhibited them as new furniture pieces. Interestingly, people saw new value in them, saw them as design pieces, and therefore wanted them back in their homes. No longer were they the original functional pieces of everyday furniture, but new statement pieces. We seem to be stuck on one picture. The exhibition, which we set up as a home in a laneway, was very much an expression of our common concerns with sustainability, materials, and a throwaway society, all of which people have the power to control and make a small difference in their own home. 
From the outset, everyone in our studio shared an interest in what people see as home and how they create home around themselves. So you can see in, on the side some things we re reconfigured completely as Harriet's um, chest of drawers on the very, very far right-hand side. Uh, she's taken pieces from all different kinds of furniture and made it into that character piece of draw, uh, set of drawers. And here, um, over here, Sarah made a table which um, she built the top completely from scratch from wood that she collected from other pieces of furniture and then placed it newly on the base. And then, as I said, we set it all up in a laneway as a home. Um, so people walked through it and took the pieces back to their own home. And it was just really interesting to see how they, they discarded that, that type of furniture and then they wanted it back. And some of it only had a new, paint of co uh, new coat of paint or um, new legs or, or just a, a bit of varnish or some sanding. So it was a really interesting process to see how people um, take things from their home and put them back. As Harriet touched on at the beginning, we share in our ideas of our natural environment as our home. We share a concern for developing and reflecting an Australian identity in our design. Collectively, we each take inspiration from the Australian bush that in turn informs our aesthetic and material choices. But not in a kitsch or a cliched way, rather as a way to showcase our unique location, histories and experiences. In our most recent body of work, we took the idea of the bushfire and the uniquely Australian experience of regeneration through fire as the starting point for our collection. We looked at ecological processes, and in particular, plants that germinate and regrow after fire. Our local environment, landscape, and the form... Sorry. Our local environment directly influenced the design process with the colour palette taken from a burnt-out landscape and the form of the works alluding to native seeds. We chose to work with a limited range of materials that spoke to one another across the suite of designs. In looking to the Australian landscape as our idea of home, we wanted to design a collection of objects that were for the home. Each object explores the idea of regeneration in a different way. For example, the bowl, named Integument, draws on the contrasting rough exterior and clean, smooth interior of some native seed pods that open up after fire. The collection was developed to represent Australian design. They were first presented within this context as part of the Other Hemisphere exhibition at Ventura Lembrate in, during Milan Design Week. As in the East and West project, we took our ideas of home with us to present to the rest of the world. We drew from our unique experiences to attract attention by creating a home away from home. Although we work across many platforms, disciplines and materials, we always have this sense of curating and pairing back our work to represent the collective. Our individual journeys, varied backgrounds and expertise, as well as our shared interests in playfulness and exploration, materiality, cultural identity, and the natural environment all shape what we do. In our design work, we are wed to how and why people bring objects into their homes, and in turn, how people's homes reflect and impact them. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.